I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the Abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver. My angel of death. What's going on guys? This is Jove from Jove's Gaming Lounge. And with recent updates to RetroArch, we're now able to replace textures in Dreamcast games using the Flycast Core. I'm going to show you how to download and install the HD pack for Soul Reaver Legacy of Kane. Now, first thing you need to do is I will leave a link to this site here, this Blogspot site where it has an HD texture pack for Soul Reaver. What you'll do is you'll click on download SR1 DC HD texture pack. It'll take you to this Google drive here. You can either download the whole pack, but really what you'll need is this zip right here, the seven zip. Once you have that, you'll need to pull this out, extract it. Go into your main retro arc directory go into system and you'll see the DC folder we made in our previous tutorial. Here you'll have a texture folder. You want to open that and then you want to drag the contents of that into the textures folder here. When that happens, you'll then launch RetroArch. Then you'll navigate to the game. Then you want to bring up the in-game menu. You want to go to the options menu, scroll to the bottom and make sure you have the load custom textures ticked on from there. You just want to exit the menu, so we'll hit resume. And here we are at the start menu. As you can see, even the start buttons are in HD now. I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. And here we are in the game with the updated textures. Okay, so as you can see, here we have the HD textures uploaded. Kane's textures look different, so do a lot of the environment textures. Now, one thing you can further do to enhance this experience is we can go into the RetroArch menu here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save our state. 
so this way we can just log right back in as we'll have to restart. I'm gonna go back into the options menu and we're gonna find widescreen. Yes, right here. All right, it's gonna require us to do a restart, so we'll do just that. Close the content, run it again. And we'll go back to load our state. And here we have it in full screen. This was just a quick tutorial. So if you guys found this helpful in any way, share it, give it a like. And if you wanna see more tutorials, just subscribe to the channel. There will be more coming. Thanks for watching.